another lip swatch video for you guys. Now the last one I did was for the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipsticks and you guys seemed to really love that video. So I recently received the MAC Metallic Lipsticks in the mail and I just knew I had to do another lip swatch video for these babies. Now I know my last two lip swatch videos were from MAC and I promise I will switch it up and do more brands and different formulas of lipstick, different collections and all that stuff. So if you have a specific brand or collection that you want me to look into, definitely leave it down below and I will definitely try and plan to do that in the future. I am fortunate enough to have a relationship with MAC Cosmetics. They do send me a lot of their new product launches and I'm forever grateful for that. It is still so surreal to me. But as always, that never sways my opinion on my reviews, on my first impressions, and none of that. I'm always going to be 100% honest with you guys. Now today's lip swatch video is going to be a little bit different because this is actually going to be a first impression. So I don't have much reviewing to do on this product. But timestamps will be down below as always. I love to do extensions extensive reviews when I do my lip swatch videos and people who are new here sometimes get annoyed that I'm talking too much but every single thing that comes out of my mouth is an important detail in my opinion. I like to cover all bases so if you want to know specific things, specific colors, that will be linked down below for you guys so you can easily skim through the video. Before we get started make sure to give me a big thumbs up if you like lip swatch videos. Also keep in mind throughout watching this video what your favorite color on me is because I would love for you to comment that down below as well as your thoughts on the video and if you are not subscribed already you should definitely be sure to do so. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday for after the week at 7 p.m. Eastern and it is a super fun time around here. I love it if you stuck around and join the fam. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so now for the basic details since like I said, I don't really have a review for you guys today. There are 18 shades and they are 17 US dollars and 21 Canadian dollars. They release online on March 30th and in stores on April 6th. And they are going to be a limited edition and the sales for these will end on May 11th. I really love the range of color. Pulling out the lipstick, it is the basic MAC packaging, the classic bullet, the silver sticker on the bottom, just your basic MAC cosmetics packaging. The smell, everything's the same except it is a metallic lipstick formula. I currently have a liquid lipstick on right now. It is Kylie Cosmetics Candy K, but I'm going to take this off so I could start swatching all of these babies. Okay, so I just took my liquid lipstick off and now these should be pretty easy to take off since they're not a liquid lipstick formula. So I have my tissues and my baby wipes here. Now the only thing that I could tell you guys about these is I did try one shade the day I received them in the mail and that is foiled rose. It was the bright purple. And from what I could tell, they can go from sheer to opaque. They're very buildable and they are a really pretty reflective metallic. So I'm just going to apply some chapstick. And now usually if you have watched my lip swatch videos in the past, I go from light to dark. But since these are in the classic bullet, I don't really have them arranged in any light to dark orders. So I'm kind of just going to pull them out as I go. So the first one here is cold front. On my sheet here, it is defined as a frosted periwinkle blue. Here it is. It's so, so, so stunning. And like I do for all my lip swatches, the first swatch, I always show you guys in depth of me putting it on from start to finish. So as you can see, that right there is a super sheer wash. With very little pressure, you just get kind of that tint. And now I'm just going to keep on layering this up. And as you can see, I built up that bottom lip compared to the top. A few more swipes did transfer the color to be a lot more opaque. 
These are super hydrating and super nice on the lips. They feel really nice. You cannot feel the glitter chunks at all. It is really, really smooth. You could definitely see the glitter and the metallic in it. I think this is so cool. So here is cold front. Also, I don't think I said this in the beginning of the video, but I wanted to take a moment to thank you guys because I wouldn't get these opportunities without you guys. I know I always say that, but I seriously, any moment I have to thank you guys, I'm gonna take it because I love you all so much and I wouldn't be here without you. Mwah. I feel like this line is definitely for the bolder girl. I personally would go out with metallic lips. I love wearing fun lip colors. I think it is so fun. One of my favorite lip colors to rock, or my bold lip color is purple or sometimes orange. There are a few more wearable shades in here, so if you're not too much of a fan of metallic but you do want to branch out you will see throughout these swatches that there are some more wearable shades. So I'm just going to take the same baby wipe I used to take off Candy K and just swipe this off really easily. What I'm noticing is it does leave the glitter on my lips, but I'm gonna quickly take um, a tissue and see if I can take that off. Okay, so the glitter is staying on. I did kind of lick my lips a little bit and it did go away a little bit, so just keep that in mind. The next color I have here is Foiled Rose, and this is a brightened blue pink. Oh wait, this is the one I swatched. This is literally Heroin by MAC, but lighter and metallic and I love it so there's one swipe look at that I love it so here it is more sheer and then I'm gonna try and build it up a little bit more so as you can see the more you swipe the more color payoff you get so these are super versatile I love this I would certainly layer this on top of heroin by Mac and it would be beautiful in my high school we have class colors and my class the class of 2017 is purple so i'm always wearing purple lips at like school events so this is my new go-to so next here i have nightly ritual and this is a blackened navy looks super cool let's put it on so initial swipe, you could see it is a black sheer lipstick. So there we have it. It is super cool. And in my opinion, these are just more wearable metallic lipsticks in general because they aren't super opaque. They do have that sheer iridescent vibe to them and I really like that about them. So that's on this color. I think it is super cool. Next up is Silver Spoon, which is a multi-dimensional silver. I have high expectations. For this one, look how sick that is. So it certainly is multi-dimensional, how cool. It has all these different reflex, and it's really, really cool. These are really different from any kind of metallic that I've tried. They have a really cool formula. I can't really explain it or pinpoint it, but I really like these. They are so comfortable too, honestly. Next is Metalhead. This is a black and purple with multicolored pearl. And you do have to keep in mind, because these are like more of a cream lipstick formula, they aren't going to go on super opaque. So they are going to have that sheen and that sheerness to them. If it was like a metal matte metallic lipstick, those tend to go on more opaque. So keep that in mind. So like the description says, this is definitely a really cool black and purple. Kind of looks like a gray purple. It's really cool. It's like... A different mix to it okay number six is zero cool and this is a metallized emerald green right away look how cool that is okay this would have been so cool for st. Patty's Day this is sick and actually makes me want to experiment with like green makeup look I really like it I think it has a really cool vibe to it and it's really different too not often do you see green lipsticks alone nonetheless green metallics up next we have digging for gold which is a light brown with gold glitter look at that so cool this right here that is so pretty this is definitely one of the wearable ones if you want to get one this has the most beautiful sheen it is so natural i would wear this every day to be honest this is so unique and so cool and it really just adds a lot to your look. I really like this. This actually might be my favorite so far. So if you want to buy one of these and you want a more wearable one, digging for gold. Next one is In Lust, which is a light warm neutral. And this actually looks very similar, 
let me do a quick comparison so here is digging for gold and here is the in lust so the in lust is like a shade lighter and it looks more champagne instead of gold kind of like a peachy champagne and then this one's like more of a light brown gold let's see how different they look on the lips okay yeah this one is like a peach kind of silver champagne kind of color so this is a bit more cool toned i would say more opposed to warm tone this is another super wearable color if you are into like the silver sheen these do leave a lot of glitter on the lips though just warning number nine this one is disobedient this is a deep burgundy red wine okay yes oh yes that would be really pretty okay give it to me I love this. This is a beautiful winter and fall color, honestly. This is beautiful, and even though this is more bold, I think this is also a super wearable color. I don't know, this screams like a beautiful winter and fall color. Number 10, we are moving past the halfway point. This is Hades Fire. This is a cool red burgundy. So that was a deep burgundy red wine, and this is a cool red burgundy. Now, quickly, like I did with the other two, let's do a little compare. This is the cool red burgundy and then this is the deep burgundy wine. I see very little difference except this is clearly cool and this is clearly warm. So let's put this on the lips. Okay, yeah, I could definitely tell that this one is cool toned. It also has different glitter reflex in it. I feel like this is less wearable than the other one. But it is super cool and I really like the glitter in it. It has more of silver glitter, I guess, to go along with the cool tone. And this is a really cool color. Next up, we have pearly one. This is the confetti White Frost. Oh my god, you guys don't understand how much I'm excited for this. I've been so obsessed with iridescent and this just looks like it's going to be a sheer iridescent lipstick, kind of similar to those like Sigma Lip Vexes, I think they're called. I want those so bad, except they're sold out. So let's try this. Okay, so layering that up, this is definitely super confetti action going on, but this, I can't tell if it's like what I expected. I don't think it's like iridescent as much as those Sigma lip glosses are, but it does have those purpley blue tints with the white. So it kind of is, but in a different way, kind of like in a glitter metallic way, like a glitter metallic iridescent, if that makes sense. But this is really, really cool and fun and unique. Next up, we have Modern Midas. Midas. It is a muted gold with pink and green duo pearl okay I am certainly intrigued this looks like a champagne pewtery color so I certainly see the pink I'm trying to see if I see the green kind of a little bit it's like a green undertone but with like pink glitter if that makes sense but I think this is a super cool color this actually honestly could be one of the wearable ones too just instead of having like a gold glitter or a silver glitter it kind of has like pink slash green it's really cool actually I really like it up next is devotional this is a metallic purplish brown you guys know I love my purples this looks really cool. It looks like a lilac. Okay, I definitely see the brown tone with a lot of that purple, which I love. This would be a really pretty topper on top of heroin, but I just love this. I think this is a really cool iridescent too. Next is Royal Hour, which is a deep royal purple with blue pearl. So it should be a blue purple. Whoa. This reminds me of like Galaxy. I think it's gonna look really cool with my jacket. Okay, honestly, this is one of my faves. This is sick. I really, really like this, probably because it's purpley, but I think this is just such a cool and unique shade. I'm, I'm actually obsessed. Royal Hour, everyone. Okay, getting to the last four. This one is Pale Rose, and this is a cool muted neutral pink so again this one should be wearable okay this is definitely really pink so again if you like pink lipsticks but you want to have like a pink sheen i think this would look really cool with some of the colors from the nicole guerrero glow kit but yes next we have anything once which is a blackened blue with multi-colored pearl 
Now I think I'm going to love this one as well because it looks very similar to the previous one I tried. Oh my god, this is another one that I'm really obsessed with. It is definitely black and blue. It is just so cool and I love the sheen to it. I love the reflex. I love everything about it. I really, really like this color. Second to last is Jupiter. This is a bronze neutral. Ooh, this looks really, really bronzed. So the other ones that I tried that looked more wearable were on the more neutral side, but this is super bronze. Okay, yes, bronzy, glowy goddess. Just literally make a bronze makeup tutorial, put this lip. Yes, literally the perfect bronze metallic. So if you like these bronzy kind of colors, Jupiter. And last, but certainly not least, we have Act So Cool, which is a deepen brown with gold metal pearl. Oh yes, I think I'm gonna like this one. The, it's definitely brown, and I definitely think it's gonna be different from all the rest, because I don't think there was any, like, brown. I've been liking applying it like this, like... I don't know, I feel like it just gives the payoff a bit more. It looks kind of silly and will probably mess up the shape really badly, but... I don't know. Okay, yes. Look how cool. I really like this shade. It is definitely not less. It is a beautiful brown. I love the sheen to it. I love everything about it. I really like brown lips and I think this is definitely a shade that you would want to gravitate towards and experiment with. But that is it. We have made it to the end of the video and the end of the 18 swatches. I don't feel as terrible. For this one, I guess because they weren't as hard to take off and they didn't really dye except for a lot of glitter payoff. But mm, these are really comfortable. My lips don't feel like they're burning about to fall off. So that's a plus that shows a lot about the formula of these. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know what your favorite color on me was. And as well, let me know your favorite color that you would personally buy for yourself. I love you all so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.